Hi everyone, in today's video tutorial we'll be using Dazzling Reflections to create a pyramid box. We will export this file and take it into the Funtime software and create a print and cut project. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll make the pyramid box. So I, I have Dazzling Reflections open and for, th for those of you that are not familiar with it, the program does come with online video tutorials that take you through everything step by step. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to the import pictures icon and then I have my photos in this photos new folder. I'll click on the image that I'd like to use for the kaleidoscope and hit open. So that way it appears over here to the left of the screen. Now I've got all my templates here to the right so let me just expand them so you can see a little bit more clearly. And for this project we'll be using KS52. Now this template does come standard with Dazzling Reflections Premium Edition. So I've clicked on it once to select it. Then I'm going to double click on my photograph and you can see the program has made the kaleidoscope. Now I can make changes to this by clicking on the active segment and I can increase or decrease the photograph. I can rotate the image. I can also flip the image if I want to. And I would just continue with a combination of these moves until I get the desired design. So let me just move these around a little bit until I get the, um, the image that I would like. Now it is important that you completely fill the template. So for example, it's not critical that you fill it all the way in the middle, but it would be best, but particularly at the corners here, and I can see that I haven't completely filled that. So to do this, I'll just click on this box and pull out with my mouse, and that's going to completely fill the center and also the tip right here. So I'm happy with this design. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this bit here. Move this out. Okay, so I'm happy with this design. So now I need to export it. So I'm going to go up to File, select Export, and I'm going to choose 5 inches as the export size. Click on OK, and then give this file a name. Okay, I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Click Save and now I have an exported kaleidoscope saved as a JPEG. So now we're done with the Dazzling Reflections portion of it. Now it's time to go into the Funtime software. 